there's a lot of things that bring me here today, but the one thing that I want to focus on is the fact that I really want my son to grow up in a great environment and just have, like, more than what I had growing up. Okay. So, you want your son to grow up in a great environment and to have more than you had. Yes. Is that right? So that's on your mind right now? Yes, that's mm -hmm. on my mind. I love my son dearly, and I don't complain about the childhood that I had. I had a great childhood. I just, I guess every parent wants the best for their kids, mm -hmm. and, and I really want the best for him. Mm -hmm. Is there anything in particular that's happening right now where this is more of a concern for you than usual? Yes. Um, me and his father, like, we're, we were engaged, and um, we're just not at that connection anymore. We're focused on what we want to do in life, and that's kind of a, a hassle on our relationship. What you want to do in life? Can you explain? Yes, I want to become a social worker. I want to help people. That's just what I love to do. And he um, is currently driving trucks, and so it kind of like puts a damper on everything on our relationship, and we're just like mainly focused on our son, and, mm -hmm. and it's just been hard, like okay. reconnecting. So you feel that your differences in career choices is, pl is having an impact on your relationship with your son? Yes, I feel it is, and I just... I always really wanted like a family, like me and the dad and, and the child. Mm -hmm. I that's how I feel that I love my son dearly, but I wanna provide him with that. Like mm -hmm. we are together, we're doing it together as a team mm -hmm. because now that we're going away from each other, it's made things more difficult. Mm. It, okay, so your boyfriend, is he your fiancé or your boyfriend? Uh, he was my fiancé, okay. but we called off our engagement. Okay. And he's a truck driver. Mm -hmm. Does he drive long distances? Yes. Or just local? He drives long distances. And so sometimes he's gone away from home for, what, like days, weeks? Yes. Days. Um, the longest was like a week. And so he's a truck driver, and you are an aspiring social worker, and you have a son who you want to give a really great life to, and you feel that you and your boyfriend are in different, going in different directions, yes. maybe. Is, can you elaborate on the part that you're maybe the most uh, concerned about, or that's the most on your mind right now? I'm concerned that when he was just local, we were able to do picnics and, oh. and, and do the whole family thing that I just really love. And even though my parents weren't together, we would still, you know, they were really civil with each other and we'd go to Disneyland, we'd go to the fairs and, you know, I feel like it's different. Mm -hmm. Even though I'm not saying that we, we probably won't be together ever. There's a possibility that that could happen, but I still want that togetherness then apart. Okay, okay. And so that, that realization that you're having right now is, it sounds like, it seems like maybe, just from your nonverbal, that maybe you feel like you need to make some sort of a choice, is that right? Yes. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I feel like um, I'm not like valued, we're not valued from his perspective. I mean, that's mm -hmm. what I can sense. I can't really make that a final say because Well, you know that he's not different. physically available yes. to do these things mm -hmm. that you want to do, mm -hmm. like on picnics. And so when he is available, it's kind of like, I guess, where he's at and where I'm at is just like, why is that a problem for you? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, 
It is because I want. He's saying to you, why is it a problem? Yeah, why is it a problem? He feels it's like always me who wants these things, and but I, I made it clear that you know I want our son to grow up with the togetherness, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. especially like how my parents had it. You know, mm -hmm. they weren't the best of friends, but they could come together, and you know, it was better together. Than yeah. And so I'm feeling like there's a a change and I don't know whether to roll with it or just accept it. Mm. Accept it. And it's it's all a balance between mind and and heart. Mm. And that's the battle. So your heart says you want this great relationship where there's like a true family unit and you can go on picnics and you can be together but your mind says was my mind says that it's not going that way and you can't make it turn that way you can't change anybody they have to change themselves mm -hmm. and if they wanted to do it then you know it'll definitely work mm -hmm. and I feel like I don't want to subject to just accepting things the way they are, mm -hmm. especially if that's a concern for me. Mm -hmm. As far as dealing with the togetherness, I feel like if I have a problem, I voice it to you and we solve it. You know, we'll try to figure out ways. So I, I feel like I'm very more like the collaborating person. Like, we got to collab together. Let's, you know, I usually am that person that. Let's solve this issue. Mm -hmm. Let's not go over the problem over and over and over. Let's try to think of ways to make it better. And I noticed that not everyone's like me in that sense. Mm -hmm. And so do I want to eventually hurt myself in the long run? Or, you know, help myself by saying, okay. So it's just accepting that it's not in that position. So uh, let me just do what's for me in my heart and, you know, stabilize mm -hmm. myself to be the best parent that I could be. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you know what you want. You're not so sure that your boyfriend wants the same thing. His actions indicate that he doesn't. Mm -hmm. His words indicate that he does. <sighs> Or he doesn't. You're not sure. I'm not sure about that part either. Yeah, I'm not sure about that oh, part. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> All right. Because I know that dealing with perspectives, you can, you know, you can't really tell someone what their, you know, perspective yeah, is. Yeah. But I don't, I don't sense it. I don't feel it. And um, I think that's just what I'm going by. And I feel like probably 98% true. Mm -hmm. So now you have this information and it's on your mind. Is there? Have you given any thought to what you might want to do about it? And that's where the stuckness comes mm -hmm. from. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm confused about because you know, I'm very the type of person that I don't want to hold things in, but yeah, I don't want to have to keep explaining mm -hmm. to you, <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to keep going on, reiterating what I want in mm -hmm. this relationship, mm -hmm. especially if I'm listening to you, you mm -hmm. know, I would want you to listen to me, and I understand by, like, in the position that I'm in, I've always been the receiver, and, um, Anybody, so it's hard for people to like receive, you know, from me. So I'm just like, like I was like sitting um, yesterday, I was kind of feeling down, and <laughs> I just never. I was looking through my phone actually. This is really funny. I was looking through my phone, like, who can I talk to? Because I never really opened up to anybody. Mm -hmm. They open up to me mm -hmm. and I'm able to listen. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, out of all this, 
So that's up, another yeah. realization. Yes. It's like, wow, yeah. it's really, really prevalent for you right now. You realize that you are the caretaker. You are the person who listens to other people, but you don't necessarily have someone like that for you. Yes. 